Welcome back to my channel everyone. So uh, today I'm starting a new campaign with uh, Emir Denha of Socotra and uh, this is quite a unique campaign. Uh, I you know I feel like I've been exhausting a lot of the kind of major uh, you know um, steam achievements and I'd like to start something new. I wanted to start something challenging something that can kind of uh, you know maybe you know has a high rate of failure right. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone has tried to pull this off in any, uh, you know, online playthroughs. I looked around and stuff uh, for at least in CK3, but I've seen people do it in CK2. Now, what it is is basically you start off as an emir of uh, with one single uh, uh, territory here, county. Uh, except the good thing is is that you actually have a duchy rank. So when you do expand, you uh, get. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about vassalize or handing over uh, territory to vassals because because those counties won't break away because you have a duchy, so they'll stay within your realm. And eventually, you can create a second duchy and create a second kingdom. Now, given that I'm Yemeni culture, I'd ideally like to create the uh, the jury kingdom of uh, Yemen, which would be awesome. Uh, but for that, I also uh, that means that I'm going to be clashing with a lot of uh, Muslim uh, dynasties here for these lands who haven't yet joined the Abbasids. Now, I think I might join the Abbasids eventually uh, if I feel threatened by them because at least I can gobble them up from inside. But for now, I'm not going to join them right away. I'm not going to swear fealty to anybody so that I can at least benefit from this situation of using holy wars. Now, this is what I want to talk about, the religious situation. The religious situation is not the greatest uh, that I'm in. So I'm Nestorian, and as you can see here, we're the only independent ruler in this start date to, to be Nestorian, Christian. And then you can see here in Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, and Syria, uh, the Assyrian populations are following the Nestorian faith. And um, you can see here, all the way here, in, uh, you know, uh, on the borders of Mongolia and China, uh, the Nestorian, there's one county with the Nestorian faith, and I believe in the 1066 there, there's the Uyghur uh, ruler, independent Uyghur ruler who is a Nestorian, but that's uh, that's about it. So, not only are you a pariah uh, in terms of, you know, the region here, uh, well, you do have Coptic Christians all around you that you can ally with in, uh, mar through marriages, uh, but, uh, you know, you're not, you're definitely disliked uh, by members of your own religion, especially the Orthodox, I think who consider you actually evil. Um, and then, and Catholics, I believe so too. And then you also have to contend with local Muslim forces. And an interesting thing about the Nestorians, why I want to kind of play with them, is just kind of a nice alternate history. So they, uh, you know, were, uh, you know, c considered a heretical after the Council of uh, Ephesus in 431 AD. Uh, and, uh, you know, primarily for teaching that Christ has two natures, as you can see here, 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 one divine and one human, Nestorianism has been declared as heretical by most Christian faiths. So that's an interesting start. So you see here, you're a pariah according to even other Christians. Despite this, its unique outlook has garnered followers in places as far east as China, India, and even Mongolia. You got people in, you know, I think a church in modern day India today in Kerala, I believe, that, you know, still follows the Nestorian faith. After much persecution, they've kind of really been diminished. So it's definitely a kind of, uh, I would say, a huge impediment. On, on growth and that's kind of what I want to try it because I've uh, you know I want to try something challenging create my own achievements I guess so what's the aim I don't know I guess survival and growth and see where we take it from there definitely not a world conquest uh, but uh, you know maybe maybe you know my own empire and we'll see maybe bring Christianity back to the Middle East um, uh, but that for that you have to also account for the fact that I might have to uh, attack also p parts of East Africa to establish a foothold. I need as much territory as possible to have as many levies as possible. So let's begin. And the game is going to be an aggressive one. Wait, let me see. Game rules. Okay, perfect. So, all right. Um, I'm going to start here. I tried it earlier. Um, and, uh, you know, it's... Uh, you can, if you go heavy and you, you start... I'm going to go steward. Uh, but if you go heavy uh, and, and, and quick at the beginning, you might be able to expand, right? So 
Uh, let's see what's going on here. Let's see. So look, look at this. I can declare a holy war here. I can attack Mahara, for example, here. Uh, they're considered superior. I can attack these guys here. But you know, the first thing I'm going to do before anything is obviously marry my son to the most powerful uh, alliance you can get. So, uh, Gojam, who are ethnic Ethiopians and they're Coptic. And, oh, by the way, let's look at the religious ideas. So you get mendicant preachers, which is very good for, you know, conversion speed is very fast, which we'll need. Monasticism, I'm... Courtiers can take the vow and become a monk, makes temperate a virtue, Nestorian opinion plus 10. And it's not a crazy thing. Uh, Eastern syncretism, or syncretism, sorry, makes honest a virtue. Eastern faiths are considered only hostile as opposed to evil. You see here, it doesn't have that many kind of major qualities. What do you know, the Orthodox think about us. They consider us hostile. Yeah. Oh, the Asheris or the Muslims consider us evil. Even the cops consider us hostile. What about the Catholics? Hostile. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty bad situation to be in. Imagine members of your own religion consider you to be hostile. So anyways, um, so of course we're going to try to build a kingdom, but first... I mean, ideally in the Yemen, but we have to take what we can get, okay? Now it's time for me to secure a marriage, okay? And that marriage is only for political reasons. Um, so already we're off to a good start here. Um, I mean, it's <laughs> not amazing, but uh, let's see what we can take. Should we go for Mahara? Should we go for... Mendip. Let's see. These guys don't have any allies. Maybe we should go for the Strait of Mendip. Weaken those Muslim rulers first and foremost. Okay, so declare war. War for county. Change the objective. Oh, I can only do this because I guess it's the, the distance. All right, then we might as well do it. Okay, now I'm going to call upon my allies. Excellent. So I got two allies I can call it a war. And they're gonna they're they're more than willing to come. Okay, cool. Okay, so they're gonna help me out. And I'm gonna raise my armies. As you can see here. I'm gonna go join them somewhere in East Africa. Okay, we'll go for the capital right away. And then we're going to have to go, we're going to have to be very aggressive with the wars because wars means ransom, right? Or they mean ransoms. And then ransom mean, uh, you know, money. And then uh, you can use that for mercenaries and whatnot later on. you got to be very aggressive with this sort of style of play, this type of game, right? Okay. Get that prestige. So we're going to go for their capital. Okay, great. That's 46%. Maybe let's try to siege them here. Okay, now they're weakened by these raiders here. They're going to try to lift that siege off their capital. Let's go attack them. Okay, so we get our first territory here. Oh my god. Yeah, I... I thought for some reason, I completely forgot. I thought I was going for Mendib again. Uh, all right, so do I have a Cassis Belly? I don't have a Cassis Belly against this guy, which I don't get. Okay, but I do get it against this guy. Let's see. Mahara. But even then, we're not that pious. Let's go on a little bit of a pilgrimage here. A little bit of a... Let's go on a pilgrimage. Okay. Please don't die. It's not the time to die. I've walked the holy path. 
It's good to be home. And I'm well again. Perfect. And tell her to embrace God. Ransom. That's awesome. That makes up for some of the money that we lost. Um, as you can see here, there's actually a holy site in, in you know, the Persian areas. Diplomacy. So uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that the Nestorians were a pretty uh, accepted church in, you know, in the, the Persian Empire for a long time. They were tolerated. And uh, at a certain point, they established, you know, major influence um, before the church made its way into Central Asia and Eastern Asia. Mm. Should I go for Kinda? I think I will. You know, it's perhaps good to... You know, I'm going to start gobbling these people up. Uh, let's see. Do my allies... Are, there, are they in any wars? No. Okay. Maybe... Maybe it's, it's good to start, you know. What about Mahara? What if I did it? It's too soon for a duchy war. I need to be faithful. And I'm getting there, though. I'm getting pretty close. Okay, let's see. Hypothetically speaking, we go for a duchy. We'd get that whole thing. Hmm. I might go for that. What about these guys? These guys get powerful. I'm probably going to attack them very soon. Uh, you know what? Let's go for Kinda right away. Okay, I'm going to obviously call my allies. I can ransom this guy too. Okay. I don't care about losing prestige. Okay, again, we do the same thing. We go into East Africa. I'm telling you, this is probably one of the toughest games I'll ever play. I mean, I'm sure there's way tougher, but this is definitely one of the most challenging ones. And I like it for that. Because it forces me to play so conservatively. And I mean, in other games, you know, you can afford to lose wars and whatever. But in this one, no. You gotta, you gotta be quick, right? And don't forget, you got the Blob uh, Dynasty here. The Blob uh, Caliphate that can easily come attacking you. So I might swear fealty to them eventually. Uh, you know, some people might think that that's a sellout, but it's, again, like I said, here you gotta play strategically. You gotta you gotta play with, you know, a kind of certain vision. And, and if that means, you know, going into the Abbasids and, uh, you know, uh, oh, perfect, we captured him in battle. What if I ransomed him? Wow. Uh. You know what? Whatever. Let's just finish it. I don't want to get too uh, involved in wars. Okay. I don't have a ch to, I don't have a Cassis Belly on this guy. Maybe I can make one. You know. And then I'll go for a Mahara right now. Yeah, I'll go for the whole duchy. What about these guys? These guys are kind of powerful. It says inferior, but you never know. What about these guys? Why? It's a broken truce, right? Okay. So, uh, you know, it looks like at this rate, I'll be able to declare a uh, kingdom. And she is. No, she's way too young. And she's, you know, I need someone who I can... No, I need I need to go for somebody I can actually like get kids from. I think that's the safest route right now. Okay, relevance. Let's see. Anyone with some, you know, a good skills? Huh. Okay. Nubian. Let's see, maybe congenital traits. Uh traits inheritable. Maybe some of all skills or okay. Probably go for Alexandra. Okay, I'll lose prestige though from this marriage. Maybe not. You know what? Alliance power, relevance. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Reset defaults. Relevance. Let's keep it at relevance. 
sure. Sure. No, no, no. Actually, no. Prestige, maybe? Prestige gain. Uh, yeah, you lose with everybody. Medium chance of children, fine. Let's marry her. We have no choice. I'll go for the prestige. I'm going to call people a war. Tax man. Let's speed things up a little bit. How that amount is completely uh, vulnerable right now. I mean, now's my time to to attack them. Uh, yes, see it done. Okay, let's send the rally point here or put it here. Had had that amount is what I'm going to. Be, you know, doing. Oh, now I get a religious cast his belly against them. That's weird. But, anyways, we can just do this ASAP. We'll replace. Okay, so we're swapping uh, areas here. Okay, these guys want me to join war. Of course, I'm going to help you. Okay, and I think this is a decisive victory for us here. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so what do we got? Okay, so we're gonna disband. I'm gonna disband, and then I'm gonna wait. Maybe. Okay, so Mahara broke away. These guys, like I said, they get they can get pretty annoying. Let me just wait a little bit till we increase our levies. So our ruler is not particularly good either, right? So I need that money. Yeah. I'll need that money. Maybe let's go help him out. Let's go help out our ally. I mean, he's looks like he's going to win, but you never know. We won't be able to be playing tall. We won't be playing tall anytime soon. Like I can tell you that because we need every single dime we can get at this point. I think yeah, he should call an end to this war. Ah, oh, I'm infirm now. Great. It looks like my son is gonna gonna take control after me. Show should feudalize tribal hold holdings. I will eventually, but. Yeah, because I'm not getting anything out of them. Grant to who? Let's see. My son. You know? Perfect. I mean, he's... Uh, I'm replacing... I'm going to be my son anyways after. Okay, so we got ourselves a daughter. That's great. Just in case, let's get ourselves another alliance. Okay. This is... I think this is such an important alliance at this point. Matrilineal. Let's see. Uh, nothing close. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to rely on a uh, non-matrilineal, like a normal marriage. So, Mercuria, Petty Kingdom of Mercuria. So, um, here in, uh, you know, uh, modern-day Sudan. And, uh, yeah, so let's continue our expansions into the Yemen. This is, this is actually working well for me, uh, surprisingly. Okay. I'm gonna call these guys. I'm gonna call my allies. I don't care. You know, call the petty king too, sure. Just in case. Because we are calling a, a holy war, and you never know when Muslims uh, dynasties might actually join the fray. So I'm, you know, always concerned about that. So. Okay. We captured the we captured the the chief's son actually. Let's see if these guys will, were willing to join me. 
Yeah, they will be. Wow, so my daughter joined the... Uh, my, sorry, my daughter got pneumonia now, so I don't know if she's going to survive either. She got reduced symptoms. Okay. Okay, so we win this war. So be it. Oh, I like this. This is a good expansion. This is a good start. Okay, so uh, what? how far are we, f are we from building the Kingdom of Yemen? Oh, getting there. We're getting there. Maybe if we go for Mahara. Which we will. They're considered vastly inferior. Let's just wait a second. Who is this guy? He's a Bedouin here. I'm going to demand his conversion. He's going to say no. Let's grant this to who? Who can we grant this to? He's, uh, he's Yemeni. He's uh, gout ridden. Let's give it to him maybe. He's one of my knights. Okay. So let's do Hakaf. Wow. Okay. Not a bad start. Maybe if uh, we get strong enough, we might be able to actually, you know, marry with kings and stuff like that. That's going to be really good. So we can do Mandab. We can do the Mandab right now. I can just attack that. That's going to be nice. Connects the territory here to the Straits of the Mandib or Mandab. And uh, again, we call upon. I'm going to call upon one person this time, this guy. And uh, let's raise our army. Armies. I think I'm going to become the king of uh, Yemen very soon. Move the troops to. Okay, my daughter is no longer sick with pneumonia. Okay. My guy... Is my guy still infirm? How is he fighting a war? Okay, so... Did we manage to dodge them? No, we didn't. So, I'm gonna pull out. Okay, we lost, but it's not that big of a deal. We lost one battle. As opposed to a whole war. Okay, I must try. Okay. I don't know what's going on at this point. I'm just really concerned about, you know, messing up something. Or messing something up. So assigned. Okay, alright. So uh, let's take the mend up straight. And, uh, okay, the wife is pregnant again. That's awesome. Hopefully not with a son. Because we're going to have to disinherit that guy. Okay, now we're going to attack their armies with my allies. Alright. Munya. Okay, cool. Good. More daughters. Alright, let's see what my son's up to. He has a son. That's great. We'll get him to marry someone later on. Now this daughter will get us a... Uh, we have an alliance with Damat. No, no, no. no. We need... Can't have Indian... Uh, uh, allies because they're way too far they're not going to join um let's say matrilineal just in case alliance power <laughs> nothing yet okay so my grandson that's weird uh no strange all right let's see here maybe we can capture their final city here or county okay we won okay this band. Okay, so what el what do we have now? Okay, so we got Mandab. We can give it to this lunatic here. Give her this. And uh maybe do we have prisoners? Oh, we got six prisoners. Let's see, we can start releasing some people. She won't be released. Definitely Idris, ten ducats, sure. Oh my god, there's they're they're really not worth anything. They're all a bunch of lowborns. Okay. Alright. Uh, 
what's going on here? Devotion, you cannot afford this cost of war, so upon declaring you will receive the following effects. Okay, I need more uh, piety. I think, you know what, though? I honestly think I'm going to risk it. Why not? Because this guy's going to die soon anyways, so let's do it. Yes. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Maybe uh, just in case. Yeah, just in case. Not in case. No, I should call my allies to war. I'm going to make use of that alliance. Just because, you know, this is the final war that I need to have just enough territory for a kingdom of Yemen. So I might as well. I don't want to risk it and kind of mess it up. So since I'm already here. Okay. I'm going to walk away from these guys just a little bit because they're kind of scaring me. I have a hook on who? On Asha, okay. Let's go attack them. Where are my other allies? You know what? Maybe we should... Is that another sun that I have? Yeah. Mm. He's going to have to get disinherited. We don't want anything... We don't want the... The uh, what's it called? The AI to create a uh, uh, what? What do you call it? The, the AI will create a, a title, uh, and that's the worst thing that can possibly happen because they'll create an extra duchy, they'll give it to him, and then everything we all our progress will fall apart. Okay, I know I'm playing kind of fast here. I'll slow it down eventually, but right now it's still at the very beginning. Interesting fun fact: Yahbalaha. Is actually your yeah I think yeah Allah I don't know how it's pronounced it's apparently a Syriac name I was looking at uh, looking at this which is kind of fitting because you have the Nestorian church is found among oh look they're beginning to lose ground but it's found among you know the Syriac populations here and uh, it's interesting it means apparently um, gifted from God in the Syriac language Syriac Aramaic language so uh, Kind of a native language to modern day Syria and uh, and parts of southern Turkey and Iraq. Okay, so perfect. Perfect. Now look, we got enough territory to become the king of Yemen. Okay, so um, let me see. Okay, so let's see how we can manage this. If my guy wasn't infirm, for example, we'd be in a better spot right now. We haven't used mercs yet. And uh, and look, um, you know, we, we got some territory here. So we got more territory than we need. Um, what if I attack these guys? Would it be worthwhile? It says similar. We're probably going to wage war on me eventually. So it, I should be wise not to go to war right away. Can we ransom people? It's always, you know, it's always just kind of nobodies that we've captured. That's the thing. We haven't captured anybody kind of significant. So, um, unfortunately. Relevance. No, Marshall. Should we give this to my son? Yeah. Given that he's, uh, how old is he? 36, not bad. He's got two kids, which means that we can use those kids for, you know, uh, alliances and whatnot. So, all right, what else is there that we can give? This guy doesn't like us. Well, can I imprison him? Be considered an act of tyranny, but I don't care. Is he Yemeni or he's Bedouin? Uh, I can't I can force him to change his religion okay cool um, what can we give it says here that I can feudalize I should feudalize Shibam for example yeah let's grant that to somebody you know maybe my grandson 
Sure. Okay. Okay, so should I take this region? This guy is pretty mindful of us. Okay, so we don't have the piety right now to do these wars, but it's okay. We got even better. We have, uh, you know, kind of uh, the territory that we need. 50 ducats. Okay, cool. I'm making the money. Now we're being raided by local forces here, local tribes. That's the thing about playing in this region when you're, you're feudal yourself. You're at the mercy of of these powerful groups, right? So you got to be mindful of that. It says that there's going to be a crusade, hopefully. The Abbasids are miraculously weak. Uh, but they got they got their alliances. That's the thing. You know, polygamy slash uh, high status. Everyone wants to marry you. Um, yeah, so... Okay. What if I ended up going to war with these guys? Maybe not yet. How much would it be to create the kingdom of Yemen? Uh, 500 ducats. I have a solution for that. I think, where is it? Would it be in the diplomacy section? Ducal conquests. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go thoughtful and then ducal conquest. It's going to reduce the price of creation. Uh, you know, uh, but now I can also extort, right? Extort subjects. I'm going to have to do it. I build some dread. Take on that money. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Oh. So he's dead. The sun doesn't have that many good holdings. Okay, so now what are we going to do? We need alliances just in case. High Chiefdom of Elodia. Okay. And the daughter, please give me something good. Petty Kingdom of Makuria. Perfect. We're also allied with the Byzantines. That's great. So uh, we're probably going to go diplomacy. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to you know, spend some money and then we're going to try to get Ducal Conquest here. Okay. Eventually, if I can become a king, I can marry with the Abyssinians and we can have some pretty strong alliance. Okay, so I got to start giving away uh, some territory, right? So, unfortunately, but that's the name of the game. Okay, so this guy, my guest. Okay. Give this away too. Give it to people who are. I mean, this guy's Bedouin. They're still part of the Arabian culture. What if I gave him this territory here? Would he be willing to convert for me? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what the religious status here. You see, Nestorianism is beginning to spread in the Yemen. Ooh. Okay, this is uh, getting challenging, huh? So, we need chancellors, of course. We need a good steward. We can't, it's the best we can get. Luckily, we're not that huge. No one, like, hates us like crazy. By the way, I'm not going to give up too easily. I'm sure it's going to, I'm probably going to lose some territory eventually. But I'm kind of counting on the Abyssinians to become something large. You know, our fellow kind of Christian allies here. Well, they're not our allies. They're potential allies we're eyeing. But first, for them to ever be convinced uh, to join us, uh, you know, in some form of alliance, they, you know, we need to be a kingdom, right? So we need to be taken seriously. Blessed be God. 
Now the thing is about me right now is that I am oh Bedouin there are the possible revolt against me here. A religious revolt. And uh we we should be able to take care of that with our allies. Okay, let's see. How long do they need? 7 months. Okay. Uh, the other one is actually getting weak. Seven months. I think we can take care of that. Come on. Okay. Another daughter. It's funny how, you know, we, we're not getting anything here. Anything too good in terms of alliances. Okay, we'll keep it for now keep her on the side for now let me start converting people honestly it's I think it's time that we try to convert it's funny I did say I'm gonna probably join the Abbasids maybe like swear fealty to them if I felt too threatened but you know who knows maybe not maybe um, I might kind of play it say okay so they're at war there is a there's a crusade that's amazing and they're they're they're, they're they seem to be very weak so let's see what that crusade looks like. Mm, it's kind of tied in terms of uh, levies. Uh, so whatever. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it doesn't uh, turn too, you know. Hopefully we can kind of benefit while they can kind of kill each other off. We can kind of flourish in these circumstances. Okay. Okay, so uh, those revolts are not happening anytime soon. Maybe I should go for, you know, creating another duchy. So create, you can create, oh, I can create the kingdom of Yemen. Should I wait for the 20 minus 20% off? No, I'm good. Okay, so I'm a, now I'm the king of Yemen. That's awesome. Look at that, I like that flag. It's the uh, kind of inaccurate here. It says there's no God but God. Muhammad is his prophet in Arabic. Because that's the assumption here is that, uh, uh, you know, it's a Muslim would rule this. But I am uh, a Christian, so I, uh, in this game. So, I don't know. Is there a way to change that? But anyways, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is, is that now we've established an Arab Christian kingdom. And... Uh, now we're vying for a little bit more. Okay. And I think the next aim is to kind of build up a powerful base. Now this guy's probably going to respect me even more. There's nothing we can do in terms of alliance right now. But, uh, you know, with the diplomacy stuff, you do have, I think, uh, a certain perk that you can get, which is to... Uh, defensive negotiations can propose one alliance w without a marriage yes exactly I am going to use that to do something with the Abyssinians who are growing and look strong so wow and historically I mean look at the historical accuracy they did have an alliance with the Byzantines at a certain point in fact when they too many held duchies it says why did he create all these duchies for me? Yeah, and my vassals don't like that. Okay, so uh, my son, I'm going to give him a duchy. I can't. The Emirate of Sokrotra. Let's give him the Emirate of Taiz. Okay. Start hating me less. Yeah, you see? Can I give him another duchy? Prop up my son for now. Seems like a promising figure. Okay, who is this girl? Okay, so her dad gives us an alliance. Okay, Chancellor assign. So, let's see. Religious situation getting better. And we can declare wars. Inferior, no. Let's not do that. These guys are sandwiched here. 
I can attack them eventually. Vastly inferior. Who's their ally? Will I regret the day that they attack me? That's my fear. Now my guy, I like what I like about him is that he's kind of he's on the pious end. Let's see. Grant the sun another emirate. Give him Jofel Yemeni. You know, less dislike or you know among the vassals. Okay. So we are the kingdom of Yemen now. And uh, our capital is on Socotra. Perhaps after when I like capture Sana'a or Taiz, I might actually change the capital and put it there. So it says vastly inferior. Should I risk it? Is the question. You know what? Let me check the status of my allies. And I'll tell you. We got many allies though. Okay, we got a lot of them. We might, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Maybe we just we can get Mercuria or something. And another one too. So let's do it. Let's go for Sanaa then. And then maybe I, perhaps I'll, I'll switch my capital to there. Okay, I'll ask my head of faith for some gold. Maybe not yet. Is that Makuria? Yeah. We'll get Damat as well. Okay. Get into East Africa quick. Okay. And hit them in the Mandab Strait. I'm going to slow things down a little bit. We got a sun. Okay. And that means the sun means an extra alliance. With the chiefdom of Berta. Sure. But it also means that I'm going to have to disinherit him. Just in case. You know. Of the. Uh, that annoying. System of partition. That you know. We always have to deal with. I'm going for the defensive alliance too okay so we're gonna go straight for Sana'a sure now we're mired in other wars I think I'm gonna tone it down after this war because Okay, perfect. Our allies are taking care of business. And there we go. That's it. We get... We have... What's going on here? Oh, we're at war. With... Uh, these guys. The Medinan. Okay, so they were... They've been attacking. And what are they trying to get? They're just trying to get... This... Uh, this county right here. So... Where okay, maybe just call on all my allies at this point. Medinan conquest. Oh, and the and the Taifin one too. I mean, they're all going for the same. They're all going for the same thing here. That's good. I think I'm gonna ask my head of faith for some money. Okay, I can ransom prisoners too. You can call allies to war. It's 
precisely what I wanted to do. Okay. Sure. Would you guys be willing to follow me is the question. Yeah. Alright. We can use those words to make money too. The Bedouin Ashari populace will rise in a few months. In 30 months. But I don't think they're going to be strong enough to, to deal with us anyways. Marvelous. How's Abyssinia faring? Good. They're still strong. So... Defenders. If we enforce the demands, we get 72 ducats here. With these guys, we get how much? 136. Hmm. How are the Abbasids doing? Did they win? Okay, they won. It seems like they defended successfully against the Crusades. Okay, so... I want to switch my capital to Sana'a. But because we're at war, we can't do that. So our capital of Socotra, or should we keep Socotra? Should I keep Socotra as the capital? Let's see what's... No, the, the development is too low here. There's essentially nothing on this. Let's see what Sana'at looks like. No, you, there, there's no comparison. Sign. All right. My son was in prison at a certain point. Oh, look at that. This is a big fleet that's arriving here. A big fleet was arriving. Okay, where did they land though? Uh, they're down here to the south. Okay, this war is becoming a little bit confusing. I don't know who's what, who's doing what at this point, but okay, I think I'm gonna... Okay, we captured someone big. We can uh, keep him. Let, maybe let's go south. See if my uh, allies will follow me. Yeah, they will. What are these guys fighting for anyways? It's getting annoying. And we've only been winning victories here. Is this gonna... Maybe we can win this battle. Let's see. Come on, yeah. I think it's I think we're going to turn the tide here. Yes, we will. We will we will win this, I think. Uh but I can't see what's going on if we're in fact winning or losing because these guys are standing in the way. My allies are standing in the way, but I think we are pretty much tied. Uh, you can call your allies to war. I'm calling everybody to war. Damn right. That's it. Yeah. Um. Hmm. 
Okay, they joined. That's the thing. They were in that war, which makes sense. Now they've joined, and so now we're we've turned the tide in that one. Now let's go back there. Maybe I should do a white piece for this one or enforce demands. I don't know. We'll see. I like defensive wars sometimes because they help you uh, reset a little bit. But uh, how many are we? I think we can take these guys on. Okay, will these guys follow me? Okay, are they following me? Yeah, they are. Yeah, we're going to win this. Do we have any better commander? This guy, for sure. Oh my god. So many of my men are severely injured here. Okay, so we won this war. We depleted the forces. We're at 48%. Now it's time to get, take on these uh, other guys too. We got so many people too. We can ransom. That's that's great. Uh, let me see. Perfect. Perfect. That's uh, that's super good right now. Okay. What's the Christianity situation looking like? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so more conversions then. Continue to convert our realm. I think... I honestly think this is... Uh, this is just kind of uh, way too early to kind of declare any sort of victory here. Uh, because uh, it's. I know it's going to get harder. This is CK3. It's a paradox game. Uh, but I'm enjoying it so far. All right, so 126. And again, like, you know, maybe, who knows, maybe we might, you know, capture kind of the Arabian Peninsula and then declare ourselves, you know, emperors of the Arab world. We'll see. Turn it into the dominant, like, turn Nestorianism into the dominant religion. We're only winning battle after battle, so that's obviously O2, you know, the, the the amazing alliances that I propped up and oh god, does Abyssinia look good for us right now? Uh okay, so what's the situation like? Would you guys be interested in a uh military alliance? It seems not the case. I'm gonna go back and invest in stewardship. Because I'm going to start propping up my domains too, or my realms. I think I'm going to go 100% war score for this. Why not? Because, you know, um, I think it would be, you know, wrong to just let go of, of this when we got so close. And then I think, you know, we'll make so much money off of this too. So 126 duck, it's not cheap. Right? So... That was a good war. Okay, 100% war score. Maybe just attack them. Who knows? You can capture someone for ransom here. Okay, so that's not the case. But enforce the meds. And look at this. You know, a lot of it got us fame. And, well, not that much because it's really my allies who've been doing all of the, you know, dirty work. But uh, that's perfect. All right, like, so look at that. Pretty decent situation to be in right now, I'd say. Honestly, I'd say this is. Let's disband. And I can. We can see what our kind of monthly income is going to look like. I think you know it would be kind of nice too to strike at uh, at these areas too. They're not as hostile though. Uh, I I don't think they're as scary for me. Why can't I disband? Because I'm not in my territory, that's why. Okay, now I can. So, uh, 0 0.7. Not 
that's not good. It's nothing close to what we were making with the dad. Oh, 1.7. Now the ransom start coming in. And uh, so I think I'm going to ch change my capital to Sana'a. Or should I continue to rule from the island? Ah, it's a tough one. It's really a tough one because holding taxes, inefficient census, increased autonomy. It's kind of cool, you know, running from the uh, ruling from those places. But I also don't want to lose Sana'a because it has a supply of 2600. Okay. The development here is cheaper. You know what? Let's stay here. Let's let's stick around here for a little while. We'll do our first, you know, we'll do a trade port. Right? We'll start with a trade port. And uh, we'll see. We'll gauge the situation. What is it like right now? Uh, I mean, we can capture Najran, which probably I'm going to go for. Uh, kingdom titles. Yeah, I'm probably going to take all of Yemen and control all of Yemen. Uh, what are these guys do up to? You know, we can do... Uh, we can even take Oman too. Um, and if they're considered inferior. I mean, and they certainly are militarily. Their allies are... They're in a war of some sort right now. Uh, you know... I think what I'm going to do, in fact, is probably stop it here because we've done a lot. We've covered a lot. Um, we managed to expand and create the Kingdom of Yemen from Socotra. And we're going to eye the Abbasids for the time being. And perhaps if they can fall apart or if we can amass enough money and use mercenaries to capture, you know, the Kingdom of Arabia, right? And then declare ourselves the Kings of the Arabs. That that's going to be a huge step forward, but it also all depends on their wars with the Byzantines, their wars with you know everyone else, right? So I think I'm going to stop it for now. I'm going to you know think of a strategy next because this is so far this has been super good, and I'm obviously going to consolidate you know the territories here in the Yemen because it took me a while to you know get to where I am. And then, and then I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to start really strategizing about, uh, you know, my next move against, you know, the Abbasids and, and everyone else too in the region. So, um, yeah, so I want to thank everybody for watching. This has been really good. It's been an excellent uh, run so far. And I'd like to hear your thoughts and, you know, tell me what you guys think would be the most suitable kind of strategy, right? As we continue our expansion and our conversions to in the in the area right so thank you for watching and i'll be back with more content